Bird Man Tour here. Back with another Modded Monday. And uh, in today's episode, I will be reviewing uh, one of my all time favorite mods, one of the first mod review uh, mods I've ever seen reviewed. Um, the Elemental Creepers mod. So what this uh, does is it adds 12 new creepers into your game. And they have some really cool abilities. Now there should be 13, but for some reason this doesn't have the friendly creeper. So I'll just go over what the friendly creeper does uh, after I showcase off the other creepers. So we're going to start off uh, over here with the fire creeper. Alright, so uh, the fire creeper is sort of like this orangey color and if you go into survival we'll chase after you like any other creeper it doesn't it doesn't seem any different until it explodes boom fire everywhere now it, it doesn't actually make an explosion doesn't destroy blocks doesn't damage you with the explosion but if it's that fire everywhere which will if you uh, happen to be within the fire area will catch you on fire like so and so um, and one, one thing to note is these creepers will actually spawn uh, naturally throughout your world so you're gonna have to be a lot more careful with this mod in. Next creeper is the water creeper so I'm actually gonna try to leave this guy away from the area too late okay so what the water creeper does is he explodes and puts water everywhere. So once again, the explosion doesn't destroy blocks, it doesn't harm you, but it does put water everywhere, so it can be pretty annoying. There, there's my button. There, there's my button. Uh, this creeper here is the electric creeper. You can probably guess what it, it can do. And so you spawn it down. It's yellow. The water creeper was blue, by the way, if you didn't notice. And this creeper... Yo, uh, so I'm mining on you. Directly on oh no, I burned to death. Oh no! There's a spawn point. Okay. Excuse me a moment as I go back to the mod showcase area. Alright, so I have returned. I'm gonna set my spawn point here. And so this creeper is the dark creeper. So for this demonstration I'm actually going to get some glowstone and place it all around here. The reason this is is because the dark creeper will only destroy blocks that uh, emit light. So it won't destroy any other blocks you'll notice in just a minute. Doesn't damage me or anything, just destroys sources of light. So that would be the dark creeper. Next we have here is the light creeper, which does the exact opposite. Well, sort of the exact opposite. It doesn't destroy darkness, but it creates light. So this creeper is actually very useful. It gives you glowstone, a lot of it too. So that, that's pretty cool. And we have, let, let's just like take the rest of these creepers out of the um, dispenser here. And sorry if I'm like rushing through this, but um, this may not even be up on Monday because I'm recording this really late. I've been really busy the past couple of weeks. And I am also a bit sick right now. I've got a sore throat, uh, got sort of a headache. So I'm trying to get this done and over with, but I still want to do it because I didn't do modded Monday last week. So this is probably going to be uploaded on Tuesday, but you know. Uh, so this creeper is the ice creeper, which actually uh, just spawns snow everywhere. Once again, doesn't destroy you. We got the wind creeper, which will actually blow up and damage you. And the difference between the wind creeper and other creepers is that. It's, um, it's supposed to be able to send you, okay, be quiet, Minecraft music. It's supposed to, uh, send you, um, you know, send you, okay, I'm at a loss for words here. 
Excuse me, a moment. Send you uh, flying backwards more. It's supposed to like, push you backwards more. There we go. Okay. Oops. I mean, game mode S. So this is the illusion creeper. It'll actually turn into five different creepers. And only one of them will actually be able to damage stuff. And you'll have to guess which one is the real one and which one isn't. This is the earth creeper. Which has a pretty cool design. And will just spawn a whole bunch of dirt around you. Uh, this is probably the most, one of the most dangerous and destructive of the, all the creepers in this mod, the Magma Creeper. Uh, you need to throw a fire wherever you want, and when it explodes, he leaves lava. And this is one of my personal favorites, the uh, final creeper I will showcase in this mod review, and this is the Reverse Creeper. Oh jeez, I'm in sand area, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna suffocate. Ugh. So, you could have guessed what it did, it just takes the land around it in the explosion radius and it reverses it to upside down. So this uh, mod is for 1.6.4, you do not require Forge to download it, however you do require something called Lomlib or something, Lomlib Core, uh, to be able to use it. And I said I'd talk about the friendly creeper now. Uh, one other creeper that's supposed to be in the mod, but for some reason is not anymore, I don't know why, or at least isn't in this version, is the friendly creeper. He's pink, or she, has a heart on it, I'm just going to call it an it, and if you feed it gunpowder, it will work for you, and it's slowed to bad guys, the, the uh, monsters and stuff, the hostile mobs, and when they explode, they actually don't actually explode, they just... Uh, do the same damage as an explosion would, a creeper explosion would, to hostile mobs. So, it is a really cool mod. I suggest you go download it. It is a lot of fun with all the different types of creepers. And uh, if you liked the video, a like and a subscribe is greatly appreciated. As always, Birdman4, over and